Welcome to Nepal, which is located between India and the Republic of China. It is about 0.1% of the Earth, a popular country with Mount Everest as the highest peak, birthplace of Lord Buddha and homeland of brave soldiers, the Gurkhas. We, Monte Rosa Treks and Expedition, take pleasure to organize such monumental expeditions, cultural site visits, adventurous treks to the peaks above 8,000 meters. Besides, Tibet and Bhutan are some destinations that we organize smoothly. This time, we have a group of 30 tourists from Europe for Nepal visit for two weeks. Today, we visit the Swayambunath Temple. This is one of the world's glorious shrines. It is believed to be 2,000 years old and this dome-shaped chaitya which forms the main structure is made up brick and earth. Painted on the four bases of the spire are the all-same eyes of Lord Buddha. Legend has it that Kathmandu Valley was believed to have created out of the primordial lake on this blossomed lotus flower which emitted a brilliant flame. The locals worshipped this miracle as the Swayambu or self-created and preserved this divine flame by stone blocks and built a Chaitya on it. Located 3 km west from downtown, one can view a bird's eye view of the Kathmandu Valley where we can see three architectures, pagoda, stupa and shikhar at the same time. Baudanath Stupa is among one of the seven World Heritage Sites declared by UNESCO. Its build is identical to Swayambunath Temple and is considered one of the most auspicious spots for Buddhist pilgrims. The Stupa is surrounded by numerous Buddhist monasteries and lies approximately 7 kilometers northeast of Kathmandu. Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal, was founded as Kantipur by King Gunakam Dev in 723 AD. The central area of the city is the Hanuman Dhoka Darbar Square. It is a complex of beautiful temples and shrines, both Hindu and Buddhist. Most of them were built between 12th to 18th century. The Daba Square with its old temples and palaces epitomizes the religious and cultural life of the people here. As various festivals are celebrated here, this time it is Indra Jatra festival. The statue on the four pillars is the statue of Indra, the god of rain. In this occasion, there is a chariot festival of Kumari, the living goddess. She is a small virgin girl having 32 good signs and is considered the emancipation of Hindu goddess Taleju. Different mark dances are performed during this festival. Also, Akash Bhairavnath, the wrathful form of Shiva, is exposed to the public during this festival. There are many temples in and around Kathmandu, but the temple of Pashupatinath enjoys a special significance. It is one of the most venerated Hindu temple in the world, built in the 7th century, which extends along both banks of sacred Bagmati River, where Hindu devotees 
come for holy bath, cremation and many other religious activities. Bhaktapur Bhaktapur literally means the city of devotees and is among one of the three major cities of Kathmandu Valley. It is renowned as the home of medieval art and architecture, fabulous culture, colourful festivals, traditional dances and typical Nevari lifestyles. The Darbar Square, the open public square of the ex-royal palace, is characterised with 55 wooden windows, temple, a golden gate, big bell and many more Hindu monuments. Works of wood, stones and metals are all over the historical city. Next to the Daba Square is the Taumadi Square, holding two giant temples in pagoda styles, the Nyatapola and Bhairavnath. The former, which is the tallest temple in the valley, was built by King Bhupatindra Malla. Walking downwards to the southwest is a pottery square. Traditional skills can be seen here as there are many people who live by making these clay products on traditional wheels. Monumental visits are not enough to get a glimpse of Nepali lifestyle. Among the three main medieval cities, Patan was founded in 3rd century and is also known as Lalitpur, which means the city of fine arts. The main attraction of this city is the Darbar Square, surrounded by Krishna Temple, ex-royal palace and many more temples. Inside the palace, there are beautiful courtyards where various religious functions take place.
Yo te hago un lego. ¿Eh? Un lego. जहाँ अनेक जन्म एक करोड़ वर्ष आगे से भगवान नारायण गंडकी के गर्भ में इधर अवतरित हैं जहाँ तपस्या करके भगवान ने गंडकी को उत्पन्न किया वही गंडकी तपस्या करके फिर भगवान से भर मांग के आप ही मेरे गर्भ में बैठना बैठना इसे वरदान मांग लिया भगवान ने कलयुग आएगा सब प्राणी के मोक्ष करने के लिए दुख से हटाने के लिए अनेक जन्म के से उन लोग को दुख पा रहे हैं उन लोग को मुक्ति देने के लिए पत्थर के शिला में जिसको सालग्राम बोलते हैं हम 
वो सालक ग्राम जिला में परिणत होके इधर बैठे हैं और एक करोड़ सा वर्ष से अभी तक इसलिए ये यहाँ अभी तक भी भगवान के नित्य निवास है जहाँ नित्य निवास है जिस मूर्ति का प्रतिष्ठा करना पड़ता है एक दिन भी आप पूजा अर्चना नहीं करेंगे तो वहाँ से देवत्व तो नष्ट शक्ति नष्ट हो जाते लेकिन सालक ग्राम में चाहे पूजा हो चाहे नहीं हो लेकिन देवत्व तो शक्ति रहते रखता है क्योंकि भगवान नारायण उसी में अभी तक है और भी हो रहा है कितना समय तक रहेंगे तो आगे देखेंगे लेकिन इसलिए इसको मुक्ति क्षेत्र बोलते हैं जहाँ आने के बाद आप लोग एक मुक्ति धारा में स्नान किया इसके बाद में आप लोग सब भोग हो जाएगा धर्म भी नष्ट करना है पाप भी नष्ट करना है क्योंकि धर्म होने से भी भोगने के लिए फिर जन्म लेना पड़ेगा पाप होने से भी फिर भोगने के लिए जन्म लेना पड़ेगा ये दोनों नष्ट करके निर्मल बन के मोक्ष प्राप्त करते जो अनेक जन्मों से उसको भगवान के धाम में जाके मोक्ष निर्मल होके भगवान के साथ में बैठ जाते इसीलिए इसको मुक्ति क्षेत्र बोलते हैं आप लोग भी वो मुक्ति लेने के लिए आए पता नहीं कितना धर्म जन्म के पुण्य से अभी इस जन्म में आ पाए अब आप लोग का मुक्ति होगा यही है मुक्तिनाथ की विशेषता जय श्री मुक्तिनाथ